Welcome back to Shadowgate. We left off at the pumpkin door, and we are now in the room beyond. This tower chamber is empty, save for a strange gilded mirror. And a sack. Let's look at it. This brown sack feels like it's made from paper. Brown paper bag. You're almost certain that it contains rocks. Let's open it anyway. Look into the sack and mumble. I got a rock. But it's kind of got a whole bunch of rocks here. How many rocks do we have? We had two before. Now we have eight. Huh. Useless uh, sling ammunition, I think. Not sure what else we can do with them. And there's really so there's really no useful items here except that. I can't look at the room. Let's look at the mirror. Gazing head to toe at your costume, you barely stifle a laugh. You look very much the witch, complete with a broom on which to ride. I do have a broom. Can I use this on myself? Let's try the broom. <laughs> Giddy up. Alright. So I assume we can enter this. Close your eyes and walk purposefully into the mirror. The smooth surface gives way and blackness overtakes you. In but a brief moment, you're transported somewhere else. Forlorn and eerie field, strewn with pumpkins as far as the eye can see. It opens up before you. As you stand before the strange circle on the ground, you have the disturbing feeling that someone or something is watching from the shadows. Hmm. So before we go any further, we're wearing this costume. Do the item description change that we're wearing them? We're wearing the pointy. Every now and then, threads fall down over your eyes. This one was smelly before. Okay. And so, one of the loose ends, or one of the things I thought to try is to search, to open our items. And one item in particular I remember, uh, which our bucket. So I remember this bucket contained something amazing. <laughs> is there a clue though that it contains something? Uh, since you hit the bucket, no. Use the bucket on yourself. Can you wear the helmet? So I'm pretty sure there's something in here. You look inside the bucket and pull out an orange pumpkin! Now that was strange. <laughs> Jerry usually has some sort of weird... Before he's like, it's painfully obvious as a pumpkin! He's always amazed by them. Okay. So now we have three pumpkins, right? There you go. Okay, so this is the Dread Pumpkin Quest, the DP. And bring the skulls and the squash, the squash pumpkins. Carve my visage and perform the illumin and illuminate the sacrifices. So I think the way this goes is you put three pumpkins carved into jack-o'-lanterns. And then you put five skulls with lanterns. With candles? So where is our knife, our wood carving knife? This thing. Let's give that a hotkey. And start carving some pumpkins. Nice sound effect. For a moment you strange and you take some <laughs> you effortlessly carve a rather impressive looking jack o' lantern. Survey the grinning face. The unlit visage briefly takes out takes on a malevolent air, turning your stomach sour. So let's carve this one. Find the same thing. Disturbing visage. One more. Are these different pictures? Yes. <laughs> Neat. The carved face appears from the darkness. Okay. Can you put a candle inside these things? So we do have how many candles? We have three candles. Ah. Okay, good. I was... I thought uh, you had to put the candles on the skulls. Like this... Like we have this candle that's starting a skull. I think you can put... Stick another candle on the other skulls. So these all have... Uh, 
unlit visage now. So let us take our torch and light them. Now, let's place it downwards first. I don't think we have enough skulls though. <laughs> This is the only use for skulls that... Ooh. Flames. So maybe I was remembering this flames then, I guess. It's the only use for skulls that I remember. I'm going to run out of skulls. We need two more. Obviously can't use the power skull. I do not want to use my rodent skull. Does this work? Well, okay, so we need to get at least one skull anyway. I think the only place we have skulls is the grotto, and there's one in the dragon's nest, so... I can do that off-screen real quick. Let's look at this, though. Chiseled inscription. Here lies Draken, protector of the Blothany gem. Huh. Is this a reference to another game, maybe? R.I.P. Ace Harding. Beneath this simple stone, my precious one sleeps alone. Lenore. <laughs> Nevermore. It's a, the Simpsons Halloween episode. Abby Normal. Carved into the... Wait, was it actually Lenore in the actual Raven poem? I think so. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not completely sure about that, but yeah. Abby normal. Okay. Grave marker looks freshly chiseled. It reads, remember that as you pass by. Okay. Alright, remember that as you pass by, as you are now, so was so once was I. As I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. Creepy. The lettering on this tomb too difficult. What if we uh Dust off some dust. No, okay. Don't think we can do anything. We have this white sheet. Well, hey! In comparison of a ghost, am I? Wow! I forgot about this. I mean, I suggested like maybe there'd be something here, but I didn't realize they're just sitting here. Okay. So bring that to the genie. All right. I'll go back. I'll go to the grottos. As long as we're in the grottos, let's try a few things on screen. Uh, force yourself near through the narrow opening. Not gonna launch an arrow at us. Okay, right, so let's do a save. Since we know this is a goblin. What happens when you use the flashbang on him? Nothing. What happens when we use the Earthquake spell? Does it cause a cave-in? No. Oh wait. A furtive movement with the cave messes with your concentration. Now is that a generic? Like it'll say this in any room? Or is it specific? Maybe we need to get rid of this guy before we can cast it and get cause an avalanche. Huh. What if we douse the water, then cast it? We can try this. Not gonna. There's water nearby. Uh, I guess this one is the quickest source of water. Huh. I don't want to let my torch run out because I think that would just kill you. Uh, where is my? You know, we never tried repairing. I don't. I'm starting to think this is not a repair spell, but can you repair this? No, you can't repair the broken. This is just like a clue that there's non broken vials in the game. I don't know. What does it say? Rather unpleasant smell. Okay. I'm still not sure about that sewer hatch, but I guess that's not needed in. In master, okay. 
It's actually brought Oh, he's firing an arrow at me. Ha. Never learns where he's our beaker of water. Sputter. Uh, should we should we let our torch go out real quick? <laughs> so let's cast the Terrax spell. Hmm. Since we're so close to letting it run out, let's just do this. We just reload and startled by movement. Maybe if they cast it, like every time you use a turn, he moves somewhere else and he may or may not startle you. Does that matter? There's a lot of skulls here. <laughs> One more skull. Uh, okay, nearly snuffed. It's as dark as it can be, man. That can't be good. <laughs> no. Okay. What did that say? Oh. Stumble like a blind man and darkness overcomes you. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, we have the skulls. We'll run back. Okay, I have another idea. Let's fire air at me. Razor shield just in the nick of time. Okay, so maybe this is the right idea, just the wrong execution. Instead of trying to put out the fire, put out the light, so we don't see them, so we don't see him, we have a blindfold. <laughs> God's like, well, okay, let's wear that. So now, are we sort of blind now? Uh, what is it? What does the equipment say? Partially obscuring. What if we put on the glasses as well? No. Momentarily disorient you. Alright, so let's wear the blindfold. <laughs> We're not in, like, the castle. Okay. I guess you can say this is part of the castle grounds. Uh, so we're blind, I think, now. There isn't any... Uh, see, these are these all count as head. Oh no, face is separate from head, so let's... What would cover our vision? This thing? Alright. So let's just, okay, let's not putzing around, let's give it a best shot. Cast the spell. Attempt to cast it. Still messes with your concentration. Okay. Yes. Is that a clue? <laughs> I don't know. Huh. So maybe we'll figure out some other way to retain our concentration. Just you wait. Okay. Got some skulls. Took all the skulls, which is probably a little bit of a waste, but whatever. One more. Then we need a light. Okay, need to light the jack-o'-lanterns. Ethereal, ethereal globe. Nice. And the last step. Cast invoke. Um, maybe in the circle. Cast your spell. Anxiously look about. Uh-oh. Birds, ravens. Second smile across your face. Within moments, a strange howling fills you, fills your ears. A bit of a distance, Bane Hound, a tremor follows, splitting a rent across the diagram. Whoa. A flock of agitated crows. From within the avian storm, a malevolent being rises and towers above you, cackling in delight. Surely this is the dread pumpkin. With a cry of freedom, the orange monstrosity disappears in a gout of flame. As your son is slowly returned, you can't but feel a little bit robbed. Well, you didn't even get a present, let alone all that candy you expected, you blockhead. Hmm. So this... I'd, I've done this before my previous playthrough, and at this point it gave me an achievement, like... I think there's an achievement for, like, the Dread Pumpkin Quest. So, my... My best guess was that... And it even says, like, well, you didn't even get a present. 
I guess best guess is just sort of like a hidden Easter egg. I guess. <laughs> Maybe the Dread Pumpkin will appear later on in the game. <laughs> Help us out. Like a Jester Spirit. Huh. We got this though. That's good. That's good. I don't think we can take this stuff with us. No. Now this. No special text. Can we use our sextant? Where is it? Uh, this. For spotting stars? What about moons? No. Okay. Alright, so let's... We are in the right tower. Uh, let's go back up to the... Astronomy room. On the stone in this castle. This... So... Right now, we've cured the Banshee Curse, right? We have to get all the five artifacts. Five to find, three are one. We know where they all are except the Staff of Ages. And I think this is related to that puzzle. Hmm. This is what's fixed to the wall, right? Can we, we can't take it. It's a load-bearing poster. Before I destroy this, what does it say? The pouring goblet of salvation and the broken sword of conflict. Goblet sword. You only recognize it. So we already. I think the constellation clue is actually in inventory. So let's burn this. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. Burn, baby, burn. Something hidden within the rock wall. You scared. Hard metallic object. Shooting star, yes. I was wondering where this was. Drop the shooting star to your satchel. Yeah. This is a weird item. I don't think they give you many clues about it. Can you use it on yourself? No. If you figure, I mean, if you haven't played this game before and you have some idea what this does or where you might use it, then I think you're a bit more clever than me. So let's go use that. There's nothing in those desks. Let's also get our bladed sun back. So I think uh, we have to unlock this again. And this was the slate gray door. Both hands open. Let's make a save again in case I mess this up. Okay. Um, what order am I going to do this? So let's summon him. I noticed this spell. It creates eyes, and it says like a malevolent air. So maybe those eyes are like the... It's master. This is the master spell to his face. Light shoots. Two malevolent, electrically charged oblong shapes. Also known as eyes. Okay. Nice wyvern. You want a milk bone? I give him the meat. You can heat up this meat. I don't think it does anything though. Okay. Now we will take the bladed sun. If there's anything else you can do with this wyvern, I haven't figured it out yet, but Shooting Star. <laughs> Does this make any sense? No? Huh. Let me... Let me try that again, actually. Maybe I'm misremembering this, so... Maybe there's something strange about that item in the sky. I remember this way to get a scale, a dragon scale from the sky. What if I use it right now? Kinda don't want to waste the meat first. Pull the shooting star from your satchel and throw it at the reptilian creature. With a thump, the artifact bounces off the wyvern's scales and over the edge of the tower. The hovering beast simply looks at you and cocks its head. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we don't get a scale from him, but... We did, we did manage to throw away the shooting star! <laughs> did that have an effect on, like, you see now, docile? So he doesn't want to be around. 
Okay. What was that chewing sound effect, man? Come on. It's the right clever trick boy. Well done. Why is he suddenly congratulating me on this stuff? Okay, so we have the bladed sun. We lost the shooting star, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Let's go with the genie. Oh, something else. As long as we're here, I want to experiment more with these clouds. Is there really nothing we can do here? Any like dragon whisperer spell we have here? Hmm. Maybe we just cast this again. Because you are rushed or nearly terrified, spooks the wyvern. Huh, okay. Really quickly, I want to cast my spells here. Okay, not invoke. I'll go to gap. Entrance. No. Dragon sounds amused though. So we never use the mixing spell. Chrysalis. No. I also want to try the lightning elemental. If we tried this, let's just do it again, just to be thorough. Wait, that was just a random uh, trigger because we used a turn, right? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. We tried this as well. Adventure. I like those wing flapping. Kind of reminds me of uh, Twilight Princess, that that boss you fought, the dragon boss at the top of the that one dungeon tower. Ah, it worked. So he'll come back. Can we spook him? Take a rock and our sling. Challenge me? Well, bam! No. What about... No, okay. Maybe we need to find a new spell. Uh, this thing. And off of the blade sound. I guess we'll keep the... I guess we'll keep our shooting star. There's nothing behind that one. So I'll go over to the genie. Okay. Show the Jin's naked hatred when you step into the treasure-lined room. For a moment, the picture gathers itself. It smiles. Perhaps the real is too difficult for ye. Do not give up on me now. Uh, we did... So the last... Alright, so I'm pretty sure this... Pretty sure that we are on the... Let's just... Let's just double-check. Pierce some ghost of my... And often... Oh, he gave us another hint. Really? In comparison of a ghost am I, and often filled, yet frequently empty. So it's not the sheet. In comparison of a ghost am I, and often filled, yet frequently empty. It could still be the bed sheet, right? Like filled being being worn. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. These things aren't in comparison to a ghost though. This one. Yeah. Is there any liquid we can have that would be in comparison of a ghost? Let's just try the sheet. This. Not a bucket. I think it is a bed sheet. What about that? Nope. <laughs> Reload. Often filled. 
Okay, I have one last uh, guess, I think. So, often empty. What could else be empty? Well, a book. A book page. If a page full of empty pages... A book full of empty pages... We also have this blank sheet of paper. Now, he doesn't say currently empty. He just says often filled, often empty. So, like, if it was a book, then any book should be a solution. Whereas the paper, this is sort of like conspicuously blank. Well, another thing is a paper is white, and ghost can mean ghostly white. Okay, right, so try this. As white as a blank sheet of paper. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so... We'll think about this later, I guess. It's gonna reload my save. Uh, we could try a skull, just to, real quick. I mean, a skull is often filled with someone's brain. <laughs> and it's also... It's a good person to ghost. Skull. Oh, he, is he unhappy? He did scowl at me. I didn't notice. Was he always scowling at me? Okay. Let us end with uh, getting our platinum horn back. I'm not ready to ask for another hint. I like his riddles. Uh, and let's make sure to get the stone here. I'm wondering if the stone... Ah, I have to grab the lightning, the fire elemental real quick. Interesting observation I'm making here. The fires, which were previously uh, extremely hot, are now weak. And all our logs are gone. I think you need to use the log, you need the hot fire, to summon the fire elemental. So I'm wondering if after we use this fire elemental, will he be gone forever? Something else that occurred to me before I actually came back here is... If the reverse was true, if these stayed hot, how would we heat up our dirk again? Like, the regular torch does, is not strong enough. Yeah, and the campfire isn't strong enough. Wait. Oh no! <laughs> what? Did we... Ah... Uh... Ha ha ha... <laughs> Better be careful with our logs. So I mean, I guess this game does have fail states. It's okay, we have a recent save. I'll I'll fix this. Okay, I have a fire elemental, and there's plenty of logs left if we need it. So let's have them to fight it out. We want to read all the text this time. And yes, yeah, so I was thinking about the rubble, the rocks here. Uh, I was wondering if we could sharpen our sword on those rocks. We, we tried heating the sword and tried hammering it. We haven't tried sharpening it since the very beginning. Flames. Don't really have other actions that I need to do right now. I guess we should do another pumpkin in here, is there? No. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else we can open up here? What about this? Is there a message in the bottle? Can't even open the vial. Maybe we should try smashing it later. Uh, okay. Do we have? You know, we never took a good look at this mural. So we already know that. Is this tree something special? No. Huh. Okay. Can we start hammering this? Okay, let's get our Platinum Horn. Platinum Horn, the last to invoke. And then we'll grab as many rocks as we can. Quite a bit. Ah, so I've noticed some items have multiple look descriptions. So take that. The darkness anticipates the attack. Now, I can't imagine we need many stones. Uh, let's just... There's probably not going to be anything else behind there. Quite large. Is there any... Oh, there's also one here. Is 
there anything behind these? Doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe there's just like red herring sections. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty satisfied. Let's just grab some more rocks. Small pile. Is there a big rock? Put the rubble. Okay. That's enough for that. So, in the next episode, we'll start pursuing more leads. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care, stay safe, and bye for now.